What is up guys, Kelly Kevin, and today on this particular Ape series we are going to be doing Chris Renfield out the Resident Evil series. If you want to go and see out Leon Kennedy, then obviously there is him on the channel, or if you can't find him anywhere, please make sure to go into the playlist in the description to go and check him out. So guys, really quite simple and easy. There's quite a few greens in this build. Um, so yeah, I'm not too sure how I was going to do it, but I kind of went with my gut feeling. Uh, the pattern that I have currently at the moment is very sketchy and some of the colours aren't even in Minecraft. I don't know how I come across it, but uh, I have it in a folder and I just saw it and I thought, you know what, if we've done Leon Kennedy, we've got to do Chris Redfield as well. So yes, so I'll give you a run under the colours I'm going to be using and obviously if you saw the thumbnail, that is exactly what we're going to be building as well so obviously you're going to need for this is you're going to need black wool you need lime stained clay you're going to obviously need your light gray wool and a dark stained clay as well and then on that you're going to need a green stained clay a white stained clay a brown for the hair and a little bit of the white as well guys a quick disclaimer before we start this video i like to speak really quick in my pixel art tutorials purely because i want to get them out there quicker and obviously i don't want you to be sitting there for a 40 minute tutorial i want you to show you it and i want you to go back to it if you get stuck at any point please make sure you do that and obviously if you've got any questions well bung them down in the comment section below and I will get back to you ASAP so let's build this build so as always guys I never build anything on the floor because it absolutely looks pants and I recommend if you are building pixel on the floor I suggest you give yourself a little slap on the face because no do not build pixel on the floor it looks horrible even if it's like literally a few blocks high it makes it look sexy so I'm going to start off with a line of 9, now you can do this however you, however that you want, doesn't really matter, just need a line of 9, this is going to be his left foot, so let's come along 3, 1, 2, 3 to make the right foot, which is going to be 9 again as well, like so, now we can remove those middle 3, like so, see if, there you go, that's the starting bit there, as always as any other build that we do, usually if it's a bigger character it's 11, but this character is a standard character, so it's going to be 9. After you that, coming in the middle, we've got an extra two high, one, two, like so, exactly the same thing as this side as well, one, two. After that, we're going to come and make a next layer like so. Oh, after you've done that layer, go into the middle here and put one up tight, top, tie, one up top and deduct the middle one like so. So you should have a pattern that looks like this. Pretty damn crazy, if you tilt your head to the left or the right, you can actually see a Mickey Mouse face in there crazy I know and it's a weird terminology but I use it on the channel so on the ends as well you want to come all the way over and put a one like so switch to your lime clay and come all the way along with a line like so which should be seven blocks all the way along like that so you should have something that looks almost like this and it almost you should actually have something that looks like this because you are following the tutorial I hope so let's crack on after you've done that you want to come two in exactly the same thing on this side as well two in from the build on top of the green like so after that you want to come with visible stair set four high in this build so we're going to come one oh if I can get it my hand will work two three four five is it? no it is four I was correct four high but exactly the same thing on the other side as well and come with visible stair set four so one two three, four, like so. After you've done that, I'm going to grab your darker grey, which is going to be the dark grey clay. I'm going to come all the way over here and just make sure it connects like so. So it should be in the middle like that. So if we come up here, you should be able to see, we got obviously, oh, hang on, naughty, there we go. Should have a line like that. So obviously one in the middle that comes up, one at the top, and then three on the side like so. So it should be again another seven blocks on top of here like that. So once you've done that, obviously you can remove that one because that's not part of the pattern. Come down to the left side here, same as Leon Kennedy's, there's a little bit of shaping now here. So one in the corner for Mickey Mouse face, and then you want to come invisible stair set up three like so. After you've done that, you can fill the rest in with your grey wool, your light grey wool like so. I'm going to fill that in. And basically the whole pattern can actually now be filled in with your grey wall. Before we do that though, I'm going to add an extra line on top of this. Purely because, I don't know why, the pattern, this pattern is really janky. But I'm going to add an extra line there. It's up to you, you know, if you feel like personal preference, you only want one line and maybe a little bit more trouser than you can. But for me, I'm going to add two lines like so, just to bulk up his boots a little bit. So after you've done that from these blocks here, 
You want to come additional four high. One, two, three, four. Same thing on this side as well. One, oh, one, two, three, four. We should make them lines of nines of pillars. Go to the corners of the bottom of the pillars and put, place a random block. For me, I'm going to put white stain clay because it's easier to recognize. I'm going to come out three. One, two, three. And I put a white stain clay on the end of that. Boop. Exactly the same thing on the other side as well. Go into the corner. White stain clay. Three black out. One, two, three. And then a white stain clay like so. She should have like little sticks that are sticking out. His body there. No idea why it paused there, but I do apologize. After you've done that, grab back to your black and you want to come four on the outer ones like so up high. So one, two, three, four. Exactly the same thing on the other side as well. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to come into the other blocks in the middle of the section or the inner arm. And we're going to come up three. One, two, three. And come out in to the hand. So one to the right. The same with this side. We're going to come one, two, th one, two, three. And one to the left like so. After you've done that, grab your white stained clay. Come one, two. And put two on top to make a four block. Exactly the same thing on this side as well. One, two. To make a four block on top like so. After you've done that, you can fill in these sort of th line of three but two down with your darker grey clay. Exactly the same thing on this side as well. And then after that, you can actually remove those white stained clays that are lurking down there, which were temporary blocks or whatever block you were using for the temporary blocks like such. So you should have something that looks like a lot like this. If you haven't, you have gone wrong somewhere. If you have, make sure to go back in the video to check it out where you have. So after that on the white stone clay on the left hand side here, the very top one on the left, and it'll be the same on the right, we're going to come one, two, three invisible stairs so the third one, three, same thing on the other side as well, all the way to the corner, going one, two, three, like so, third one up here on the right, we're only going to make an L, like so, and obviously the one up the top here, we're going to add an extra three along, one, two, three, jump back one whoa, and then on top of that one we're going to add an extra black like so. so you should have a pattern that looks very similar to this after that we're going to come down to this side here to the left and then we're going to make a visible set set down two so one two now the second one here is going to be his jawline so this one needs to come along five in total so two three four five oh and then after that we're going to come up one visible set set like so so you should all click click and clear like that so it looks pretty damn flush to me, I'm not going to lie. So what we're going to do is add a little bit more detailing on the character itself. So we're going to fill in probably this whole section apart from the top two here. Probably with our dark grey, so it's something like that. Leave the two up there. Something like that. Now on this other side, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to come along, fill the section in. And then I'm going to jump up here. And come down here. Again, this is personal preference. This is entirely up to you how you want to do this. Uh, I'm going to leave two there. Come up one, strap all the way along underneath his chin, those gun guards, and make one like so. So yeah, I've gone for something like that. So basically the exact same thing on this side I've done on this side. So just fill in the gap there and make it a straight bar along. Come up one, so you leave three up the top here, and then obviously one in the middle, and then you come down one from the lines on each of them like so, which I believe that is another seven as well, so I'll double check. Which is another seven, and then obviously down on each of the other sides. I'm going to put another grey like so. Now switch to your darker green clay, which is, I believe it's just called green clay, green stain clay. And we're going to fill it in the whole of the torso with the green stain clay. Not a lot of be work here, but clearly because uh, we've done a lot of shading and a lot of detailing with that darker grey. Like so. After you've done that, we can start building the head. Now the easiest way for me is to come on the left side first. And have the visible stairs that run away from the peak on this one here like so and then from there you want in total to make it six high so to three four five six like so and then come up a visible stair set two one oh you choose other route two like so and we're going to come all the way to the right side and work on this l so this l here we're going to come up all the way along don't be shy with this just come all the way out you don't need to know the measures for this you can go as high as you like for me i'm going to go away from the build watch this and come from about up here. I mean, like, look, his head ain't gonna be that big, let's be real. So, the easiest way to do this, if you guys are struggling, is grab a secondary block, whatever you wanna use, just come along, trace it all the way along. Oh, found the block here, and cut the rest of this off. Choppy choppy, like so. And after that, we're just gonna mimic the exact same thing on this side. Come up with a visible stair set, one, two, like so. 
Easy B's 11 squeezy. You don't need none of the measurements as long as you got one side of the head right, the other side should just fall into place like so. And after this, we're just going to breach them across with our black ball like so. The easiest thing to do now is fill in his hair and then we're going to work on his face. I say hair purely because uh, he hasn't got a lot of hair in this where Leon Kennedy had primarily was hair. If you look at number four, as it did before, he has a lot of hair even on the front cover. So I'm going to use that as a reference image. You sure can. So let's do his hair as we do it now because the rest of it will be filled in with white stain clay. So on the left hand side of the head, I'm going to come all the way up with brown like so. Pretty easy. I'm going to come down three. So one, two, three. And for the third one here, you want to come along three. One, two, three. Go back to the middle one of the three that we just placed come down to. One, two, like so. Should have a pattern that looks like that. After we've done that, we're going to come up one, up another, along two, and we come down one. We're going to come along two, one, two, and come another one, down one, along one, like so. Should have something that looks like that. It looks like spaghetti in a moment, which is not too bad. So the left hand side is pretty much full all the way to black to black, which is a straight line. Obviously come down three, so one, two, three. Then we're gonna come one, two along, then we're gonna come two down. From the top one here, we're gonna come one along to the right, two up high, then we're gonna come one, two along, down one, back up to the same one again. One, two, three along, down one, and one to connect to like so. The rest of that whole entire shape from leading upwards can actually be filled in like so. So that is his hair done. Now it's the easiest part, which is just filling in his face. So what we're going to do now is get our white stain clay and run a jawline or a chin line like so. After you've done that, find the middle three, which is kind of easy to do. So you want to go, so you miss one, you miss one, you miss one on each side, which of the middle three is like so. After you've done that, from the two right hand ones like so, you want to come along and place two, so one, two. On top of that, you want to make a four block of black. And on each of the sides as well, apart from the right side, just conceal it with your black like so. Switch to white stain clay, one, two along to the right hand side of the four block black. Two black, and very simple, just put your whites on either side just to conceal it like so now the rest of that whole entire shape there you can actually just fill in with your white stain clay now usually what i do is go section by section so I do strip at a time but uh that is actually kind of confusing and uh, i apologize for any other tutorials that you do view or if you do view that that, that technique is made you know, because uh, it gets very confusing sometimes and uh, it's a little bit of a ball like to keep up with so i'm probably going to do every other tutorial like that so guys that is Chris Renfield of a Resident Evil. If you did enjoy, make sure to hit me up with a like and a comment. Share as well. We are very close to a thousand subscribers. It'd be awesome if we can get there by the by the end of this year. But guys, if you did enjoy, hit me up with a like and a comment. But until the next one, guys, kill the care and kill the game out.